Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Berlin production unlikely to begin in 2021, as water pumping hearing delayed. Giga Texas stamping machines come to life, days after review by government officials. Tesla parts catalog hints, all vehicles from Giga Shanghai now come with AMD Arizon processor. Elon Musk has increased his Tesla holdings, even after selling off his TSLA shares. And, Elon Musk teases cool holiday software update coming soon. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. A hearing related to water pumping near Tesla's upcoming German production plant, known as Giga Berlin, has been delayed for the third time, making it unlikely that the electric automaker will begin production of its vehicles at the facility in 2021. The hearing has to do with water pumping delivery rates for the nearby Eggersdorf Waterworks. Environmental agencies sued the state environmental agency because it had approved increased water pumping rates for the Eggersdorf facility without necessary testing. The administrative court in Frankfurt has confirmed that the hearing which was expected to take place recently was postponed. There is currently no indication of when the meeting could take place, but production efforts at Giga Berlin will not be permitted to begin until the hearing takes place, and it seems it will not take place before the end of the year, according to reports. The meeting that ultimately holds Tesla's future has been cancelled yet again. According to RBB24, who first reported the meeting delay, the hearing holds major implications for the project. Tesla has been sparring with German environmental groups since the beginning of its project in Germany. Groundwater pollution has been one of the main concerns, but German environmental groups and similar entities have continued to challenge the environmental effects that they believe could plague the quality of life for nearby residents. A recent interview by Tesla Roddy with the lawyer, representing several of the groups revealed that the focus of the groups is not to derail the project, but to have the automaker follow the rules and regulations of environmental standards for the area. The German media outlet also indicated that production will likely be pushed back to 2022, and more documents are being requested and evaluated by the court. Tesla was set to receive approval to begin production within the coming days. The full approval would have given Tesla the green light to launch the production of the Model Y at the Giga Berlin facility. However, the manufacturing of Tesla's vehicles at the site will now be delayed once again, and the company will likely have to wait for the hearing to take place to begin production at the plant. Moving to the next update, Giga Texas stamping machines come to life days after review by government officials. Tesla Gigafactory Texas is running full speed towards the company's target for initial Model Y production. To help accomplish this, the massive electric vehicle production facility recently completed the reviews for five of Giga Texas's key facilities. Just a few days after the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation completed their review of the Giga Texas stamping area, crews have fired up the stamping machines inside the factory. In a drone flyover of Giga Texas recently, Joe Tegtmeyer captured footage of two dumpsters filled with scrap Model Y body parts. Although it is taken from a distance, we can clearly see Model Y frunks, as well as what appears by side body panels of the electric SUV. As suggested by Tegtmeyer, this likely means Tesla has started testing and calibrating the stamping equipment as the factory nears the start of production. Tesla is still hoping that it could begin production this year, but even if it does, it will still be a few months until made in Texas deliveries begin. Gigafactory Texas stands as a key component for the company's expansion into the global market. Tesla is expected to inch closer towards the milestone of delivering 1 million vehicles in a year this 2021, and that's with only two factories that are actively producing cars. The Fremont factory is not as optimized as Giga Shanghai either, so when custom facilities like Giga Texas and Gigafactory Berlin go online, Tesla's vehicle production and delivery numbers would most certainly see a notable improvement. Moving to the next update, Tesla parts catalog hints, all vehicles from Giga Shanghai now come with AMD Arizon processor. 
Tesla began deliveries of the Model Y performance in China this month. The launch of the top-of-the-line electric SUV brought with it a number of improvements, one of which was the new AMD Ryzen processor, the same hardware found in the refresh Model S and Model X vehicles. If the Tesla parts catalog is to be believed, the blazingly fast chip is not limited to the Model Y performance and is now included in all vehicles built at Giga Shanghai. For Model 3 and Model Y made in China, there is a new MCU-Z listed in the infotainment section of the parts catalog. This is the same MCU listed in the Model S and Model X catalogs for North America, which is the only factory currently producing the flagship vehicles with the AMD Arisen processor. In reviewing the parts catalog for the Model 3 and Model Y in North America, no such listing can be found. This likely means that the latest batch of cars being built at Giga Shanghai include the new processor. Since Giga Shanghai is now Tesla's primary vehicle export hub, we should also start seeing the processor appear in Europe and other markets. Early tests of the AMD Ryzen show a considerable improvement in performance compared to the previous generation Intel Atom processor in a Model 3. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk has increased his Tesla holdings even after selling off his TSLA shares. Elon Musk may have sold over 10 million shares over the past month, but the CEO has actually increased his overall holdings in the company since the start of his massive sell-off. To date, Musk owns about 564,000 more shares than he did since he started offloading some of his personal TSLA stock. Musk has so far sold about 10.1 million shares, though he still has about 7 million TSLA shares to sell to complete his target of selling off 10% of his stake in the company. As noted in a CNN business report, however, an analysis of Musk's filings has revealed that the CEO is actually not backing away from his holdings on Tesla at all. This was because, while Musk is offloading massive amounts of shares, he is also exercising options to purchase additional TSLA stock, which he is capable of doing at a huge discount. Musk has been able to buy TSLA stock at a bargain exercise price of $6.25 per share, which is well below 1% of the company's current price in the market. Since Musk posted a poll on Twitter last month, asking the users of the social media platform if he should sell some of his TSLA holdings, the CEO has exercised options to purchase 10.7 million shares of the EV maker. It should be noted that the options were due to expire by August 2022 if Musk did not exercise them. Musk would likely exercise additional options that would be expiring next year as well, worth about 12.2 million TSLA shares. Musk owes around $5 billion in federal income taxes on the new TSLA shares that he has purchased since posting his Twitter poll last month. He would likely also owe some amount of state taxes. The CEO's filings suggest that part of the reason behind Musk's sell-off was to cover his tax hit. Moving to the last update, Elon Musk teases cool holiday software update coming soon. Like every year, Tesla is preparing for a big software update for the upcoming holiday season 2021. With just a few weeks to go before Christmas, Elon Musk has confirmed that owners will be receiving a holiday software update this year too. Tesla is consistently pushing new over-the-air software updates to its fleet, with improvements to existing features and brand new features. The company releases a fun software update every holiday to debut new features. In a recent tweet, Musk said, the update will be coming soon and feature lots of cool stuff. While the tweet left many owners excited about what may be included, there were others that were a little less optimistic, given what happened with last year's version. In November 2020, Musk teased the 2020 holiday update as being lit, mentioning that it was packed with things you want and some you didn't know you wanted. Ultimately, that didn't turn out to be the case, with a few new games, new visualizations, and Boombox being among the more notable features. Musk later admitted that other features were delayed and would be coming later, but from what we know about the missing features, that also didn't happen. Hopefully this year turns out differently. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? 
Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.